Today, I'd like to share a video with you of my Boss EQ 200 pedal. Now, this pedal, let me tell you what, there's two main reasons that I picked this pedal. This is number one. Look at that. Ooh, lights and buttons and a screen. And when you move the knobbies, look at that. Ooh, look how cool that is. So yeah, that's the, the main reason I picked this. And uh, so don't let me lie to you and don't let anybody else lie to you. I mean, it's an amazing pedal, but come on. That right there is why I bought it. That was bumped it to number one on my list. And anybody that would try to talk you out of that, that's just negativity that you don't need in your life. Who's gonna try to talk you out of that? Your wife. You know what I'm saying? That's why I whispered it. Don't tell her. Put this back here. <clears throat> so anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's take a look at this. Now, honestly, the reason that I picked this is right here. It's battery powered. So uh, three AA batteries. Now when I was putting together, this is a quick view of my acoustic pedal board. Now the main reason that I went with Boss is because they are, most of their stuff is battery powered. Even this stuff, I couldn't believe that I could get this battery powered. And this thing, the DD500 and the RV, we'll get to that later, but holy crap. For years, I was using my Helix, which I was happy with, but it was such overkill because I don't need the amps and all that extra stuff. All I want is awesome spacey reverbs and delays and yada, yada, yada. But anyway, so this is battery powered, so twofold. It's battery powered, so it suited my needs. And B, it has that awesome screen that just, you know, the lights and buttons, the, <clears throat> the seven-year-old me was like, oh my goodness, the Mickey Mouse voice. Anyway, so uh, let's get, to, I'm gonna plug it in and let's get to it. All right, so let's get this party started. Plugging straight in. Now I've taken everything to just zero it all out. So all I have is some, just some soft plate reverb going on. Just a little bit more. Okay, so anyway, now this first, let's turn it on. Now this first frequency, 30, I feel like my guitar doesn't even have this because when I play it, all the way up, all the way down, it's, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to take that and zero it out because it doesn't even matter. Now the next one, 60, this is definitely my bass zone. So for my purposes, that's probably right about where I would leave it. Now the next one, 120, is still, that's still in my bass frequency, so. Now 200, 200, 400, and 800 on this pedal, those are going to be kind of my mids. So 200 would be my lower mid. play a chord and I'll raise it until I kind of feel that frequency start to kick in. Now 
Now, 400 and 800, since those are my mids, I'm gonna drop those a quarter into the first one. So you can already hear it starting to clean up and you know, you're kind of defining where you're going with it already. You can kind of hear where it's going. it when you just dip it a little bit there. Especially in the upper. See the three point two K. I don't want to go up because I don't need that spikiness in there. But if you take it out, Thank you. 
that sounds that sounds really nice. Okay, so that I'm gonna leave. And then the 12.8, would you move that up? You can hear how spiky it becomes. take some of that out, but not a lot. Maybe just kick it down about right there. I mean, you can spend forever fine-tuning everything, but literally in eight minutes, we went from having, you know... And then, of course, this last one here is your level. And that, you know, as you're scooping some stuff, you may, because again, here's your original volume. As you scoop stuff out, look, you lose a little volume there. So if I cared enough, I could compensate that here. And probably right about there would be the same. I just wanted to share real quick if you're wondering how is this going to sound if I plug my acoustic guitar into it there you have it it works amazing it's perfect for the acoustic guitar so if you're looking for one if you're like man what should I get should I get that GE7 no way you got the lights baby as always if you dig it please subscribe